him. And um, I just hope and realize, I hope you know how much he loved you. Because Thomas truly loved everybody. He could have an argument with you and I'd be like, oh, what happened with you and Logan? Well, I don't know. And it'd be like, 25 minutes later, Thomas going out and where are you going? Oh, I'm going to Logan's. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Tom. He, 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 he couldn't stay mad at people. It was just his way. And um, like they said, he just really lived to um, have fun. It was just, you know, he did well in school, thank God, because he knew I was always on his case about it. But he, um, Tom was just all about having a good time and helping other people out. He really loved all of you. So I just hope you know that. Thank you. To add to that, Thomas, um, he just lived carpe diem, seized that day. And you know what? Every single day when he would come over and see Logan, he just changed the room. You know, like a light just entered with his silly little smile and goofy little jokes. And, and um, you know, to repeat what Juan and I think Mike might have mentioned is he would want us to shine you know so take that light and just run with it and seize the day for Thomas Thomas Thomas, Thomas. Thomas. If anyone has any memories that they'd like to share too, or like funny like times or anything, like feel free. Yeah. Remember the aerosol can that we left in the fireplace? Yes. <laughs> yes, he does. I do remember. I there was a bomb going on. <laughs> Like all of a sudden, you just throw something in the fire. Or the day that I came home and they made a uh, oh, a baking soda and vinegar bomb in my oh. kitchen. <laughs> I'm still cleaning up baking right. soda. <laughs> Although I told Logan, I think I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> well, the day a friend of mine called me and told me Thomas was on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Get. <laughs> you make a lot of friends on that website. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> friendly, very friendly. <laughs> very friendly. <laughs> hey man, if you set up for a date, you always could rock a tie better than me. <laughs> well, he knew how to tie it though. Tell me not to. You doing that right now? No, no. You do great time. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dang, I had them two other chip on time. No, I mean, I didn't want to be I think one of the best memories I'll ever have with Thomas is when, oh my God, you know, you know how uh, our neighborhood works and stuff. Yeah. This, this is the time I moved into a new neighborhood and stuff, and I had no clue like what it was like. And you know how Thomas is, he wants to go on an adventure. He's like, let's go explore your neighborhood then. Let's go explore your neighborhood. So we explored the whole neighborhood. And of course he's like, hey, let's jump this fence. And so we jumped the fence. And then we explore another neighborhood. And then we jump another fence. And then we get lost in a neighborhood. Jump another fence, get lost in another neighborhood. Jump another fence. And then we find, I mean, this huge lake. I mean, it's big enough for that the people who live behind, like in front of the lake they have their own docks. Like they have their own boats and everything. And I was I told Thomas, I'm not walking across this whole thing. And he's like, Yeah, you know. there's just a canoe here though. And and like i remember that forever because the moon was like it was just oh, perfect. Cool. Yeah, perfectly full and it was shining bright on the water and we were just paddling across. And um then we made it home. You remember that day? Yeah, like, yeah. I remember a lot of those yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, you remember a lot. Of I remember days. another like day that that Lo Lo Logan and Thomas came, or Thomas came over to spend the night, which was very frequent between mine and Elizabeth's house. And uh, Logan and Thomas took my younger son, oh. Ding Ding Dong Ditch. Oh, <laughs> and there was a neighbor that apparently didn't find that very funny. Well, those are the best ones. <laughs> 
And Logan and Thomas ran, but the little guy didn't know so what much. <laughs> yes. No, I didn't run. I think he no, waited at the no. door. Didn't no, wait I told, the door? no, I told Lane to run because like I wasn't trying to get him in trouble. Yeah. Well, guess and who? We guess who? Guess who got escorted home in a police car? Yeah. <laughs> the little guy. Because he got stopped. For we hid under a car. Right? <laughs> so there was, a, there was another time we did that too. It was me, Logan, Mike, and I think it was Juan and Tommy. And Emma was there too. And we were ding dong dishing people, you know, just to like do it. <laughs> and um, we we came across this this house that Logan swore. He swore that like the dude was like nice and like he wouldn't like, you know. <laughs> yes, you did. You were like, no, bro, just do it. It's fine. Like it's gonna be fine. So we were like, okay, like yeah, we're gonna do it. So we're like sitting there arguing about who's gonna go knock. So like we're sitting there and Thomas is like, I'm gonna do it. And I was like, are you sure? He's like, I'm gonna do it. So he runs up and not even like knocks. He like bangs on the door out of excitement because like he doesn't realize how hard he's knocking. And the guy runs out of the house and like starts to call the police. And we're all just like, oh my gosh. So we start running in like opposite my directions. They're gonna kill me. And it's like, the, it's like the middle of the night. And we're, we're like, we get like five minutes away and like we're all separated and we're just like, like, where is everyone? And we got lost, and we had, like, half of our phones were dead, and we had to find each other, so we were, like, yelling. It was terrible. <laughs> Just because he wanted to bang on the door. Oh, my gosh. My favorite memory of Tommy was on a cruise ship. After we realized we hadn't seen him for a few hours, we started to get nervous. That's when you find him, it's a and, and the whole staff knocked on all the cabin doors, and looking for him and searching with the, you know, for him, and... We feared he fell overboard. We're all crying. My brother was crying. And all of a sudden, Jim's just walking out. You know, hi. Hey. Because hey, I don't know. Where were you? He was sleeping under the chairs in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, is that what you want? Who would stay up all night? Uh, I have to share the story. My, when my niece Bianca got married, Thomas was four, four years old, and was invited to the wedding. And um, the band, she put it on Facebook. The band stopped playing and Thomas went up and took the microphone saying God bless America yeah. and she has a video of it she has a video of it yeah. I like the time also on the cruise with the, the first the talent contest the little girl went up she played the piano and then when it was his turn they said what do you do he said I play the piano <laughs> <laughs> probably didn't play the piano no no well, yeah I play the piano <laughs> he tried <laughs> I think it was always the best when it would be like a sleepover. It didn't like, like every time at like uh, uh, Logan's house and stuff. And every time we woke up, it was always to breakfast because she would always make us breakfast <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, he knew where to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was the first one out of the door every well, time. Was the first one at the table. Yeah. yeah. I think we were still asleep one time. He was at the table eating. I was like, oh. He probably woke her up for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> He'd walk in and say, hey, mom. Yep. He'd wake me up to go get her. The hard to yeah. get breakfast. <laughs> he spent the night at our house once, and my husband was cooking Tommy's favorite food, Mexican food. He was passed out asleep, and he was like, oh, wake him up. Said, no, 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 no. He didn't want to wake him up because then he would eat like his food, so he wanted to. <laughs> He'd like to eat. Yeah. <laughs>